20 seconds and counting. Hey, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video. It's Sinish. I'm just going to quickly recap Jalen Green's return from a hamstring injury that made him miss um, 14 games. And in his return versus the Pacers, in 25 minutes, on a minutes restriction, he scored 20 points, 7 of 14 from the field, 6 of 9 from 3. And his threes came from all types of variations, from step backs to side steps to create separation, um, to just simple catch and shoots. And um, a lot of his threes seemed like to be like heat checks. And that's what we've seen from Jalen Green. It's like he kind of scores in bursts. Um, and so um, he seems to get be a lot more confident in that shot. And his shot seems to be much improved with a quicker release, much smoother release, um, like a higher release point. So Jalen Green's three-point shooting seems uh, seems to be getting better. And I think in general, obviously overall in the season, still 30%, which is which you would want it to be a bit more higher. And you could kind of blame that on the lack of spacing earlier. But we saw in the Bulls game, when you give him spacing, and spacing as in Garrison Matthews, um, Jalen Green did score 11 points in 11 minutes in the Bulls game where uh, he did get that hamstring injury. So once he gets spacing, Jalen Green looks much, much more better. And you, you saw that he was getting more open looks and things like that. And not only threes, he really had a lot of um, explosive athleticism, really blew by Chris Duarte, who isn't um, like bad by any means in, in terms of defense. So um, he really blew by him and like went like sliced through two defenders and made like a reverse layup. So that was pretty um, great by Jalen Green. And uh, he did have um, other stats recorded too. He had two assists, two steals, one block. So you can see that his defense is also improving. And he remember how he said at the beginning of the season that defense was something that he really, really wanted to improve upon and went as far as to saying he wanted to be on the all-rookie defense <laughs> team. Who knows if you'll make it on that. Um, but uh, there were some times where he did have some mental lapses where he missed a backdoor cut um, from Chris Duarte. Uh, it was like a missed assignment kind of thing. So that was, that's something that might have some room for improvement. But overall, Jalen Greens looks to be very, um, very rejuvenated. And he said that his time from sitting um, out really gave him a different perspective and slowed things down for him. And Silas, this is what Silas said about him. He said he was really good, quick decisions, shot his catch and shoot. I think we saw less isolation, dribble, 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 which is great. It's definitely something to build upon. And to get 20 points in limited minutes in his first game out there is good. And this is what Jalen Green said when his minutes restriction was up. He said, we had a timeout or something like that. And coach is like, your minutes are up. I said, damn, we had four minutes left. And I was like, damn, but it's part of the plan. We're trying to make sure I'm 110%. So, yeah, so Jalen Green's positive about his um, return, and it seems like he has no rust at all, which is pretty remarkable. But, yeah, so Jalen Green looks to be back, and it was actually pretty interesting because, so, like, there's a time in the fourth quarter where guys didn't really pass to him, even though he was open. Um, they like, it's not, it's like they didn't even see Jalen Green. So I would also hope that our teammates um, kind of look to Jalen Green as his shooting has improved more, uh, significantly. So... Um, we'll see about that, but that, I just want to give a quick recap on Jalen Green's return. I'm really excited to see him play today. And yeah, be sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below and like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Thank you all for watching. Peace.